time for Blinka, Blinka, Blinka. Yeah, Python on hardware. All right, so every single week we do a recap of all the news. This was, um, we do a mailbag section. This is just like a nice comment on GitHub, which normally isn't used for nice comments because it's the way comments have evolved to. Um, but we do a good job with comments because uh, we want people to write code and, and contribute. So uh, Alex was really nice. Alex said, before I go create an issue, I just want to say this here. This is rad. Makes all sorts of things super easy and awesome. I love it and thank you. I didn't consider that prototyping stuff could be more rapid, but this is just lovely. So this is uh, using CircuitPython. And that was one of the things that we noticed that people are able to prototype things uh, very instantly. GitHub did their um, state of the GitHub, GitHub universe, all sorts of stuff. So Python is the number two language. It is shooting up. If you look on the chart there, it is uh, surpassing many, many languages. This year, C, Sharp, and Shell climbed the list. And for the first time, Python outranked Java as the second most popular language on GitHub by repository contributors. So that's why sometimes I send emails to Microchip, and I'm like, Python hardware, <laughs> Python hardware. And, uh, and sometimes I get replies. Uh, <laughs> because I think that's where, that seems to where it's going. It seems to be, it's, it's now um, taught in every school. It's the national programming language of France. Um, really? The US does not have a national programming language <laughs> in America, <laughs> but maybe we will one day. But if you were to go by what's being taught, it would be Python right now. Mm -hmm. um, no, I love Python. Some other stuff, this is uh, from Helen. Helen posted this up on Twitter, and then Helen was on our show and tell. This is sure, an embroidery responsive. systems company called Z, uh, SK, or, yeah, ZSK tech, uh, Technical Embroidery, and this is Circuit responsive. Playground Express, and you're able to use this I as a piano. This is one of our friends from DigiKey, and this is, I believe, an Iron Man costume, and it uses Circuit Playground Express, and it will, of course, open up on command. This is... Uh, one of the cool projects that help you breathe, and uh, I could probably use this sometimes, <laughs> where the, you, you breathe and it, it helps you pace your breathing correctly. And it uses the Wim Hof, we just heard about that over the weekend, uh, breathing, and it will get you to a calmer place. I think they use this on students, apparently, who are anxious, because um, that's part of being a student. Uh, this is one of the new boards that is on circuitpython.org slash downloads. We almost have 90 boards all together. And uh, this is from Thea. And you can check this out. It's, more bomb. it's a, another Eurorack thing. There's an entire world mm, of Eurorack Yeah, she's like synthesizers. Yeah. Um, this is a CircuitPython badge that was made, and it was made for conferences. This person is like, I want to have my own badge that runs CircuitPython and has all these extra things on it. So they were able to use our tutorials. They even put the little accessory at the top so you can put other things on it and more. This is from Arturo. Arturo is making more boards. This is the Serpente. You can use uh, different types of USB. And uh, Arturo posted up one of his first reviews. And I thought this was neat to read. This is from Ben, who is a customer, bought it from Tindy. Perfect little circuit. Python controller. This is a great little controller packed with tons of stuff in a tiny package. It was really easy to get up and running. It's powered by CircuitPython. It's a generous 4 megabyte of flash. Just plug it in, save a file to a drive, and your code runs. Um, you can read the rest of it, but I thought that was uh, said even better than we can say it. On Hackaday, there's a bunch of things going on because there's a feather contest. So this is a, it's called a, a Picardo. Um, and I think on the other side it has John Luke Picard. But this is a SAMD21 with CircuitPython on it. Um, I didn't plan the show with all this microchip stuff, but <laughs> um, it's working out for your team. And uh, more students are using Circuit Playground Express, including CircuitPython. Here's um, some students. You can check out which fruit schools. Drum party. Yeah, they're doing the fr fruit jump party. Um, the latest issue of Micromag is out. This is a community made microbit magazine. You can download it, you can buy it, and you can also share it. Matt posted up a bunch of MicroPython news. If you want to use MicroPython with a solder-free kit, they have information and more available. And here is a photo from the workshops. If you want to get involved, check it out. It's all on Adafruit Daily. You can sign up for the micro, uh, sorry, the Python microcontrollers newsletter. You can also check that out on our site. And that is the cornucopia of <laughs> Of, it's uh, fall. Of, yeah, Python on hardware news this week. Snakes and a gourd. Okay, 